A new discovery from NASA shows a previously unseen structure centered in the Milky Way. The images taken from the Fermi Gamma Ray Telescope show a structure so massive it spans some 50,000 light years. So what exactly is it? Joining me on the phone is Dr. Paul Laviolette. He is the president of the Starburst Foundation and the author of Earth Under Fire. Dr. Violette, thank you for joining me. If you could, could you tell us what we're looking at? Uh, these are, are gamma ray emission uh, from, synch uh, from cosmic ray electrons. They're very high energy, uh, which I believe is an emission from the galactic core. And uh, it basically forming what, what I call a super wave. It's a, a wave of cosmic rays that moves out from the core in all directions. It's sort of symmetrical. And uh, it produces what's called a diffuse gamma ray emission around our galaxy that you see in all directions. So it's sort of like we're inside this sphere of cosmic ray electrons that are moving outward. But the reason we see these bubbles in this particular direction where it's more intense than the other gamma ray emission is because the cosmic ray electrons escape more easily uh, along the polar directions uh, because there's less uh, impediment from the magnetic fields in the core in that direction. Have any of these bubbles been detected before or is this really a first for NASA to see them? Well, we see a similar thing in uh, other galaxies that have active cores, like, for example, Centaurus A. There's similar bubbles around it, and we're viewing Centaurus A edge-on. It's the closest uh, galaxy that indicates uh, explosive activity in its core, closest to us. Oh, how does this affect our solar system? This is a recurrent phenomenon, and uh, the most recent large superwave impacted us at the end of the Ice Age, which was a time when we had a, a large die-off of uh, the large megafauna, which uh, uh, I don't believe that was directly caused by the superwave, but it was an indirect effect involved also the sun. It's something that affects, activates the sun, uh, brings cosmic dust into the solar system, causes climatic change, a whole host of of things, uh, and something we should be concerned about for the future because this is a recurrent event. It makes the scientific community more aware that uh, core explosions from our own galactic core take place much more frequently than they had thought uh, on a shorter time scale, uh, whereas before they were thinking uh, <clears throat> uh, time scales of 100 million years between explosions, now they're realizing they can be less than uh, 100,000 years. And in, in the case of this, you can show that this particular one occurred 40,000 years ago. So it brings it closer to home and uh, realizing that since it's periodic, uh, we, we're due for another event uh, in the near future. Well, Dr. Laviola, thank you so much for your time and thank you for your insight. If I told you that, uh, you know, the very nature of the moon and Mars and most of the planets in the solar system uh, is being kept from you for specific reasons, to make you think that you're completely alone and that these planets can't be colonized. The more you know about this field, it becomes almost paralyzing because the more you know, the less you know. Uh, the more you know and the more open-minded you are about this, the more you realize that, the, that every answer you find just leads to a, you know, a, a thousand more questions. Essentially everything that you would want to know has been covered up. Uh, from the electrogenetic magnificence of your DNA being a spiritual antenna to the Creator, to the most uh, amazing Pythagorean mystery school mathematics that is essentially freeing to humanity and in essence also very, very clear that everything in our world is a divine creation and as the math is the expressive tool of the creator for creation.